Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. In this video, we are solving very famous interview problem, a rally iterator. This problem got asked nine times in last six months in Google. So let's try to understand the problem with the given example and then we will drive the multiple solution. So we can use run length encoding of a to a encoded sequence of integer in a run length encoded array of even length. So we are given an encoded uh, array that ties zero index ways. So for all even i, encoding of i tells us the number of times that the number negative non-negative integer value encoding of i plus 1 is repeated in the sequence. So for example, the sequence of array 888555 can be encoded. So we can encode this like there are 38, so we can write 38 and then there are 25, so we can write 25. So this is how encoding of this uh, input sequence is done. But we can also do different ways than good, like 3, 8 as it is. Then we can add any number with 0 times, like and like this can be added any number of times. And the rest is 2, 5. Another way of encoding is like we can divide this 3, 8 in multiple parts, like 2, 8, then 1, 8, then followed by 2, 5. So these are the various possible valid RLE. And uh, we are given a run length encoded array. So we are given an encoded array. And we need to design the iterator that iterates through it, that iterates through it. So we need to design a class basically in this problem, RLE iterator, which has a constructor RLE iterator and getting input, the encoded array sequence of the sequence. And there is a method next. So in this next method, what is happening? Exhaust the n elements and return the last element exhausted in the way. So basically we need to exhaust the element in our uh, encoding array and we need to return the last element so the there are and if there are no element after the exhausting all the given element then we need to just return minus one so let's try to understand there are too much text let's go through the given example here we are given encoding of this sequence like three eight followed by zero nine and that is and another two five now we are getting a call to next method first time the two so two two times the first element will exhaust. So we have three times eight. So if we exhaust two times, it's still the, so we can write like the one of the idea, like we can write like we have eight, 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 zero, nine. So there is no point of nine. So now five, five. So this is what the sequence is given in this uh, encoded one. So we need to exhaust two times. So we exhausted two times and the last exhausted one is this, which is eight. So we need to return over eight over here. Now again, we are getting next method call for exhaust one more. So this is the exhausted one after the next call. So we will return eight. Another next method call one. So we will exhaust this guy and we this is five. So we will return five. Now we are getting exhaust two elements. So we will exhaust this and after that this will reach over here. And this cross the total number of in elements in our array. So that is what we just return minus one over here. So this is here the problem. So now how to solve this problem as one of the idea you must got up this just now this idea we can try to basically write all the numbers with their frequencies in the same sequence like in a we can represent this number in a list of let's like, say for the same example like same way 888555 we will create a list data structure then we will keep a counter variable like sum or something, some variable, something like how many times or basically count is better name over here. So we'll keep count as a better name over here. And uh, we will initialize count initialize with this zero. When we are getting next method call, we will update this count y the same than n given in the next method call. Once is done, we will just return whatever index, whatever index at the count minus whatever the value at the count minus one index in our list. So if I represent our list is list, so that is what we will just return. So this is the approach. Now here is the code for this idea. So for the code, as you can see, it is just straightforward as explained, just create the uh, list and list is frequency like uh, in input encoding sequence we are given like 3, 8 and uh, 0, 9, 2, 5. So the even index value represent the frequencies. So we will iterate this for i is equal to 0 i less than and increment every time 2 times and then we uh, run the another nested loop for the frequency from 
until the zero. So we can add zero to a of i to zero, and then add that the next element will is the present in that many times in the list. So that is what once done. And then in the next method, we are just updating. So this is index is nothing but the same count. We updating it, and then based on if it is cross the number, size of our uh, all the number of element, then we will return minus one. Otherwise, we will return the value at index minus one. So let's try to analyze the complexity of this approach. So if you see, we are running here two nested for loop. So the constructor will be this will initial setup will take o of n square time, and the uh space complexity will become sum of frequency of all element so if we have let's say there is a constraint somewhere okay that's we'll see later but and this uh, method like the next method called time complexity is o of 1 so that is o of 1 so this is one over. but can be optimized like constructor or the by sir like improving the constructor time complexity little bit uh, sacrificing the next method so let's try to think the another approach so as you can see over here we have n is very bigger so that's why the our first solution will be timed out so let's see what we need to do so we have 3 8 so we will keep 3 8 if we know if we somehow map this frequency in the sum and count and the value will be the actual value that we will have to return in the next method call and initially we will create some kind of data say like 3 8 then 0 the, if we are getting 0 there is no point as 3 already there and then 3 plus 2 5 so this will become 5 5 so here if we create a some data structure so this data structure in java is a well suited for tree map so in tree map if we store this like sum in the frequency we will sum them up and make it as a key so this will be sorted in frequency nature and the value side we will keep the actual the encoding the number which it represent so once we do this and this we will do in constructor call itself so once we do this now how we will find out the value for the next method so let's say if n is equal to 2 so there are two very important and famous method in tree map one is like floor key floor key and another is ceiling key ceiling key so the floor key is represent if you pass any value like the key supposed to key value that means we are looking for let's say if i pass 2 so this will give us null as there is no floor is smaller than 2 and If I pass three, this will return three as three is present. If I pass four, then it also return three because there is no four. But before four, it the just floor. The floor is smaller as one. The three is there. So like this, ceiling works reverse. If I pass in ceiling zero, that will return me three as three is the ceiling of this. Similarly for one and two and three till the three, it will return three. If I pass four over here, this will Uh, written as five. Five is the ceiling of this. So this is the idea we will use. So now, if we are getting first two, so same way the previous solution we will also sum them up in count. So okay, we will initialize count by zero. When we are getting two, so we will update count again. Count plus equals to n. So once we add it, then we will call the ceiling method. And if ceiling is not null, if ceiling is not null, then we will return the value of that key. So we will first found the ceiling. key and then we will return the value of key if it is null if it is null then we will just return minus 1 as it cross the total number of element in our encoded sequence so this is another approach now you can try to pause the video and try to implement so in python you can use sorted list also in c++ there is a sorted map as well so there you can use sorted map so here is the code i have written so this code is you can see just we are doing in constructor doing initializing the create building our map and here in the next method as per the ceiling check we are returning the either the value of that ceiling key or the minus 1 so now uh, another important point over here you need to create this next or count variable as a long type because if you see the constraint because if you see the constraint is the very bigger so if we sum them all up so this is can become so the n is the there are n so n is the total number of element length of this call 1000 calls and next 
and this n is very bigger so 10 power 9 so if we add 10 power 9 into 10,000 times 10 power 3 so this will cross the integer max limit so that's the reason you have to use the uh, long data type to store the key once is done now let's try to find out the complexity of this approach so the for the complexity so for this method this is o of log n or uh, because in the tree map the ceiling method will take log of n time so this is o of log of n while the constructor initializing this so we are iterating all the elements so if o of n is our length so instead of n is will confuse so let's say if length of our array is uh, l if length of our array is l so this will be o of l and every time this we are just counting and adding so this is straightforward so this is o of l so this is so this solution will get accept as it is faster than the previous one but we can optimize further we can try to solve this more better way so let's try to understand the another approach so what is happening if somehow we maintain two things like index at what index we are currently present and how many what is the value of our n so initialize we will initialize our index by 0 and so this will be uh, index is 0 now we will check for every method next call if our n is greater than a of index so let's say a is our ceiling array this array if this is greater than the count of index that means this is not possible we ha have to move further so we will update our index by 2 index plus equals 2 so we will try for another frequency now again so if this uh, keep going and uh, there is, can be a case so this is the greater case there is the reverse case so else case we need to do uh, <coughs> in else case what we need to do we just update the frequency of a of index and reduce that n from it we will reduce the n from it and here we will return a of index plus so the value on the index plus one that's it and after trying it if index and this we will do until the our index is in the length of our array so length of our array the a otherwise we will return minus one so this is the another idea so now you can pause the video and try to implement this approach that is very straightforward implementation just you have to follow as what i explained so let's see the code for this approach so first we declare this references and then we initialize in the constructor so here now the constructor time complexity is just o of 1 and the next method call complexity will be this loop as we are running so if l element in our array a so this is o of l so now we are first checking and updating reducing our n y a of index time and updating our index y2 moving on to the next element and if it is not greater then we just reduce a of index y2 and return the value after doing this if we cross all the frequency we will just return minus one so let's compile this code so this is already tested code so it will work definitely instead of we can submit as well but i am showing you so that's it so now what is the time complexity of this method so constructor is constant o of one and the next method is o of l the l is the length of r so it got accepted so this is the solution but if you want like you don't want to update the input data like here we are doing little bit when the case else part you can use the another constant variable the count so let me write it over here as well so int count and each and we will initialize this count like uh, uh, initial value a of zero so here instead of this we will check with the count if it is greater than count we will uh, update now we need to check if index is not greater less than the length of our array then we update our count with the new next value which is a of index plus 2 and index is already updated so that's why we are checking as well it should be in the within the range if it is then we are keep doing it and now instead of this modifying we just update our count y count minus n and here that is fine we will return so let's compile this as well so in this solution we are not modifying the input data there is a uh, mm, 9 so we are returning 9 so this is n greater than count a less than 0 and the case so 8 
is fine second eight is fine next instead of nine uh, five we are just returning the nine so the index is caught over here so mm, count is zero a of zero a length of count a index minus two so here index of length is less than then only update our count and here we are checking if count is greater so if count is greater that's the a of zero is still here this is fine and uh, the count value here it's n minus 2 the counting part n minus 2 and what is the wrong if we have n so let's say 3 so initial count will be 3 3 2 minus is done so count will be left over here count is defined so count will be 1 and index is on this 0 only and uh, again the n greater than n is still not greater than this so it will go count will reduce now 0 and we return again 8 that's fine now after that next when the n is 1 and count is 0 over here so the count is 0 is n 1 is greater than 0 yes that's true we are subtracting a of index so that is wrong so index is still on 0 index is still on 0 so we are subtracting a of index so we have to subtract basically count so if we subtract count that will become 1 and then this is here so that's uh, wrong here as we need to now subtract count because we are just using count variable not the now uh, because we are not modifying the input here. so as you can see it got accepted let me show you so this is 100% faster than the all the previous java solution so if you like my solution hit the like button and sorry for this video is very big i will put the timelines thanks for watching